Father in heaven, Lord, we come and we come with happy hearts, rejoicing hearts, and the way we come with sad hearts, Lord, because some of our best leaders, our best students are leaving our school and are heading on a new direction. Lord, we come today to rejoice in what you've done in their life. We come and give thanks for all of the lows and all of the highs, everything we have enjoyed and everything that we have endured. We thank you, Lord, for each heart that is here, for each of our young people who have grown so much. And we pray, Lord, that now as they make decisions for the rest of their life, that you may guide them every step, that you may anoint their lives, that you may take them on a great journey, Lord, where they may be walking with you to a destination with our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless us, we commit them into your hands now, and thank you for the privilege, Lord, of being part of their lives. May you bless them, and may you bless others with them. In Jesus' name we thank you.
And I love this so much They gave up the sound Can you hear what he's trying to say? During the years you have been here at ESTA, there have been a role model for both students and teachers. ESTA is blessed to have you. We will never forget you and forever miss you. I'd also like to say thank you to my ESTA family for accepting me with open arms and putting up with me for five years. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you to my family, Mom and Dad. You have all supported me, comforted me, and cared for me. You have sacrificed so many, and sometimes gained nothing of it. Yet not once did you complain. I thank you for being by my side. And I thank God for giving me such an amazing family in which I can go home to every day. But for time, but for time, but for time. My life in Asda has been a blessing. I can honestly say that I have had the time of my life. And each year was like a breath of fresh air. New students, new teachers, and a new students. I remember the change from year 8 to year 9. It was terrifying. Walking through Ezra's gates for the first time, I had questions bouncing around in my head. Like, what are the teachers like? Are they scary? Will I have friends? Will I have enemies? And within one week, those questions were answered. I had terrific teachers. Especially the ones that grow you when you don't do homework. Mm -hmm. I have great friends who stuck by me all the time, pushing me to do my best, and I found no enemies. Because everyone was a part of the Asda family. So instead, we had simply rivalry. When I was year eight, I believed that high school would be all about classes, studying, and writing. That there would be no time for friends, no time for fun. But Asda taught me different. Asda taught me that yes, school and education is important. However, you will enjoy school and education more with God, friends, and family by your side. So to the year nines, tens, elevens, and twelves. Always remember that school and education is important. However, never, and I mean never, forget those who will help you reach your true potential. Your Heavenly Father, your good friends, and your family. As for my fellow year 13, our journey at Asda has come to an end. No, no longer can we rely on our teachers for help. We must step up and become strong individuals that God made us to be. The strong individuals the teachers would lead us to be. The strong individuals our family know we can be. My father always said, do your best because God will do the rest. So ye thirteens, let us do our best because God will take care of the rest. To finish off my speech, I want to say a huge thank you to Mr. Shalom, Ms. Burnett, and the staff members for putting all your time and efforts 
to assure that we, the students, have the bright future ahead of us. Thank you and God bless. So fight for it. But I think Mother Teresa, she, made, she, she was wise. 
but I think she was missing one thing, and it's something like this. See, life without God is unfinished, because God is love, and God is living, and God wants to be in your life to finish it. And I thank you for listening to my part of um, what I have to say. Sorry for the tears. I know I'm a boy, but just, a real man can cry. <laughs> Right now, I, I'm going a bit off track right now, but there's a group of boys that we have and we started something called a cell group. It's something where we come together and we pray and we do a lot of this stuff, we, a lot of things with God. And uh, most, most of these boys are here today, so can I ask the cell group boys to stand up? Mr. Peter, these stand up boys. Tio Patai, Roger. Mr. Peter, these are the boys that you, you've helped change. Excuse me, and I hope you realize that you've changed a lot of boys' hearts. So that's why you're not just getting Alvin to sing, I'm going to sing for you too. So I'm going to ask my brother to come up and play the guitar.
They have a strong legacy to follow, and I know that they will do it well. Well done to Rosa. Scholarships to uh, to be awarded tonight, and the first I would 